Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen and Amelia. We're back <laughs> on the foam barrel. And with this technique, we're, um, we're looking at the concept about the slip method and really changing the shape and the angle of the pelvis. And here we're working with the, the top side pelvis, of course, um, to create some more space and room for the baby to navigate from the inside. So Amelia is going to bend her top leg. She's going to bring the knee in towards her chest, and she'll take her shin, and notice that the hand and arm are behind her. So she's in charge of guiding herself and really listening to her body, letting her body be very, very heavy into the barrel, the pillow, her bottom shoulder. And then when she's ready, she'll start to change the angle of the leg so that the front of the hip opens, right? And in this position, this open front hip position, the top of the pelvis is open and we have a counter nutation of the sacrum and actually a counter nutation of the ilium. And that might be unfamiliar to some of you. Um, so you can think of an antiversion of the pelvis around the femur head, but that's not what we're doing here because we're finding an opposition between ilium sacrum. And then she'll bring the knee back in and up. And then here, in a light way, we're trying to change the game a little bit. So here, we can have more of a nutation of the sacrum. And what's called, um, in midwifery terms, a nutation of the iliac. So again, this is trying to create as much space between the pubic bone and the tailbone as possible. Now, you get much more space if we were, for example, in a squat, but we're just gently, gently messaging the area right now on our side. So Amelia will keep going back and forth. This is a very good technique um, for helping the baby to engage, going back and forth between these two positions. And then it can also, in contrast, <laughs> be also a very good way for the disengagement or the baby coming out of the bottom of the pelvis. So it's used in both ways. Good. And now, Amelia, when she's ready, we're going to have her just relax the foot on the floor. Amelia has a, a lot of options in her body, right? So a, a, some pregnant women are not going to be able to let their foot just relax on the floor, but Amelia is able to. And in this way, she can really let her leg and foot relax. So she's going to bring um, the knee up towards the ceiling. The foot can come in. Yep. And so she's in an external rotation here, but she doesn't need to hold on to the leg. And then she's going to let the knee go towards the floor. And it's if I'm pulling her inner thigh to the back. And so her femur finds internal rotation, and we have hip extension. And she'll do that again. Now, what's very, very hard um, in pregnancy, and especially it's kind of the last thing to come online in post-pregnancy, is um, our hip extensors to get really online and strong. And this is one way, a gentle way in pregnancy that we can message those because it's really hard in pregnancy to find this open front of the hip position. Good. And Amelia will keep going. Sometimes this feels so good. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.